Welcome to our ANSYS Workbench tutorial on Material Properties in Static Structural Analysis. In this session, we'll unravel the complexities of material assignment, guiding you through the process of setting up accurate simulations. Select Engineering Data. Click here to add new material. Define Name. Material is defined. At least one property needs to be assigned to remove the question mark sign for the defined material. We have added density. You can select desired unit to define density value. Enter density value. You can define density value with respect to temperature. You can see downside the graph of temperature versus density. You can delete the defined rows also. Let's make beam geometry and assign this newly created material. Open ANSYS space claim. Create beams cross section. Close sketch. Define beam length. Beam is created. Open ANSYS Mechanical. Under Geometry, select Beam Body. Assign Material. Generate Auto Mesh. Activate Face Selection Tool. Select face and provide fixed support. Activate edge selection tool and define force at the end of cantilever beam. Enter force value. You can see the notations, A is for fixed support and notation, B for force. You can see the question mark sign here near the solution, indicating that the physics setup is not completely defined. Keep in mind that for any static structural analysis, isotropic elasticity must be defined. You can provide Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. Let's delete density and refresh the analysis setup. We have now elasticity modulus and Poisson's ratio for this material. Refresh project. You can see that now physics setup is proper and ready for solving. Solve this setup. You can see the deformation and stress results. Now let's apply gravity. Here, you can select coordinate system and direction in details.
you can see the question mark sign here near the solution, indicating that the physics setup is not completely defined. Suppress gravity. After defining rotational velocity, still here is a question mark. This is applicable to all three above indicated loads. Let's fix this missing property which is gravity. Refresh project. Unsuppress gravity. This setup is ready for solving now. Check results. You can set environment temperature here. Let's assume that body is at 80 degrees Celsius. Select thermal condition to apply body temperature. Let's provide 100 degree body temperature. To incorporate this thermal effect in the physics, we need to define the thermal expansion coefficient in the engineering data. Provide value. Refresh project. Solve this setup. This solution includes thermal effect in the body. Keep only thermal condition and suppress other loads. Solve this setup. You can see the thermal expansion of the beam. The conclusion is as follows, if you need to include inertial loads, density is required. To solve any static structural setup, isotropic elasticity is necessary. Lastly, if you want to include thermal effects, you must provide the thermal expansion coefficient. All the aforementioned data can be provided with respect to temperature. You can define isotropic properties with these relations. Do not forget to select proper units. Thank you for watching this tutorial.